How you doing? This is Don with Idle Tools. And what we're going to talk about right now is a quick problem with the Neta pools, N-E-T-A Neta pools, and more specifically getting into the sub pools. Uh, Son of Tech put out a how-to video guide, and I went through it, and I got all the way up to where it was mining. It was putting stuff in my Nautilus wallet. Uh, I will link to his video in the description below if you don't know how to set up the stuff. There's no need to duplicate his content, and I'm sure he would like the advertising dollars. The uh, I don't get any advertising dollars as of yet off of this channel. If you support me, do like and subscribe so one day that I might on this channel, but I get it off the Gunmuse channel. Uh, I get almost a quarter million a year off the Gunmuse channel. Uh, it's a gaming channel, guys. For people who spend thirty thousand dollars a month playing a phone game, so uh, not one you probably want to subscribe to. If you are here, you are looking to put your money into your benefit and not into a Chinese gaming studio's wallet. All right. So uh, if you found me, I probably linked this in the Discord for both Neta and Ergo. Okay, and the reason being is the problem is not Neta and it's not Ergo. The problem is Hive OS. Uh, let me open up my my deal here. So, in the when it asks you for your public IP when you're following the instructions, uh, you go get your public IP. You should know how to do that if you're getting involved in these kind of projects. And the problem is it's failing. Let me turn on screen one. Okay, so we come down here to the remote IP down here, and uh, I'm going to have to go in there and blur that. I, I didn't know it was going to show it to everybody. For your public IP address. Uh, and you copy it. You paste it in there. And then it says, subpool not saved. I'm like, what the hell? I know what I'm doing. You're that guy. You think you know what you're doing. And you do know what you're doing. All right. So, over in my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. So, you can copy and paste. Uh, you know what? I will put this command in the description because if you're using a phone uh, or a computer, it's just not friendly to go back and forth other than pulling up the description and copying and paste from the description so that you can go over to Hive OS. Well, look, I'm sorry, you're going to have to do this from a PC. I just I just thought of this. Uh, you cannot remote into on uh, Hive on your phone. So you're going to have to be on a PC. So I'll put the Discord in there so you can copy and paste out of the Discord. Uh, you put a bunch of Linux commands in a description for uh, YouTube, and they freak out. All right? That's why I'm being shifty on that. <laughs> they think you're trying to hack YouTube. Okay. So uh, you go up, your remote access, Hive Shell access. And while we're doing that... Let's go into my Discord. And I put... In in my Discord, I've got my... Uh, I got my uh, Guns of Glory, which is my gaming stuff. I got a million people a month who come to RogersRaiders.com. And I got eight or 9,000 people who actively play the game at a high-level strategy. Uh, you know, they spend... 800 to 30 thousand dollars a month playing a phone game uh and that's why i don't have a million subs is there's not a million people out there that are idiots like us playing the game at that level uh so the idols tool channel that's my crypto stuff uh where i do other high-end math and things and i know i haven't put out videos in a little while i, I started this up and i i, I really have a passion for the, for doing this project uh, because I watch the other YouTubers out there and I have 10 to 15 years more experience in the industry at different levels than what the industry itself exists from. I was doing a whole bunch of this stuff with the people who are fighting us on crypto. As Gun Muse, I've been fighting these people a decade before crypto existed, before Bitcoin existed. We're fighting the same enemy that we fought for free speech in the gun world. Same same players. All right. The same people that want to keep you from your money wanted to keep us from our words. The players that I fight daily to speak about crypto and the ones I talked about to speak about, you know, the, the guy who wanted to buy a gun 
I'm fighting the same guy. Same same group. So I'm over here. And I've got this host my IP open DNS. You've got to run it from the shell. Okay. So we go into oh where did that? Did Hive OS freak out on me again? Okay. Hive OS has got some bugs in it. And I mean, guys, it's. For those who don't realize, and I don't want to. I'm not poo pooing Hive OS here. Uh, okay. Hive OS does for us, in click button fashion, things to graphics cards that weren't designed to be click button. Okay. And with so many brands, varieties of hardware, the fact that they get it right 95% of the time is amazing to me. And that's, it's, it's high praise. Uh, I know how hard it is to interface with hardware, especially at this kind of level, uh, and still provide some level of security. And so we're going to wait and wait and wait and wait. Uh, now, I just dumped all the Google graphics cards I've got at the Netta project because it went into phase two fast. SOAT, put uh, Son of Tech, went out there and told everybody how to do it. Told everybody he dumped his farm at it. And all his listeners were like, well, ETH sucks so much right now. I'm just going to do it because I don't care. Uh, because the difference between ETH and Ergo was... Uh, less than 70 cents a day and you got a 22% gain using Netta and I'm going to be honest I don't know what Netta is going to do in the future but at the same time the open network ton didn't tell us what all they were going to do in the future and then when the ton mining ended a week ago and all of a sudden you can go mine ETH and get ton using the fast ton network uh for payouts i went yeah and i can use my asics to get i can use my asics to mine for ton my s9s that were idle i'm mining for ton now and my gpus that i can that i you mind you mind the eth on the gpus you mind the uh, btc on the asics and you get ton in return and i'm happy with the results uh, because with a 16% DeFi payout, because I got in their DeFi early, uh, I'm the worst case scenario. I'm going to break even for the year. Uh, but I don't believe that, with ton being at its lowest value ever. And with Bitcoin being at its lowest value in seven years now, uh, I expect it to go up at the end of the year. So I'm just accumulating. Uh, a coin that you can't mine directly that you can side mine and accumulate through mining. And if I can break even this year and accumulate coins for the long four-year bull run, which is how crypto works, I'm going to be way ahead of the game. And I like the way the ton project worked out. And they just did it again, didn't they? Let's go to another board here. I shall start. And I'll bet you that's because that IP that I, I blinked up there is the wrong IP. It's this remote IP down here is the wrong IP. So I was having the problem that you were having. Anyway, shouldn't have that long silence. Look, guys, 
there's a reason I'm putting this in here and I'm going to put it in the description below is Hive has done something with their recent upgrade because all my uh, hives I've gone in there and done the replace and gotten the latest version of Linux and there's something wrong with their networking it their their website is reporting the wrong remote IP address to you so you can't just go in there click copy paste and move it move the, the number over you've got to go to a PC and put this host my IP DBS in there and it will return to you the true IP address from the machine itself from the root from the shell command okay uh, write it down because it's it's kind of a pain in the ass to copy and paste back out of there uh, and as you can see I can't even get shell to remote into my own because it's given itself the wrong IP address to try and remote into so they've got a website to mining rig problem right now everything's working fine I'm making you know we're getting money you see and then I mean I got my little GTX 960s four giggers out there mining me some netta nine mega hash a second the uh, at 63 and 52 watts which is crap right <laughs> uh, but I am getting ergo or netta and a 22% bump on my Netta. Uh, the and even at that crap, you know, rate and you know the the watts per rate. I mean, it's only for 70 watts. I'm getting 50, right? These are four gig. These are four gig 580s. And then the um, the difference between a four gig and an eight gig 580. Mine and Ergo. If, if if anybody's wondering that, just a side note here. Um, 50s, 50s, you know, if you ever watched Ergo mine, it gives you a low mining rate, one cycle, a low mega hash, and then, like, it gives you a, a, a better. Uh, the difficulty changes up uh, every 30, 40 seconds. Uh, you'll go from, you know, I think 50s, I think I'll go up to 60s uh, on these. And then my... 5700s right now are in this machine. So I got to turn off the recording to start mining 5700s. I get 100 mega hash on 5700s. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, this is low. I mean, this right now, that's reporting low. Let's... And see, there it gives me my shell. Look at that. So their their website's buggy here. That's that's a high problem. And it timed out because it took so long to get me the connection. All right, that's a that's that's a hive OS problem. So don't freak out, but you got to get in there. Keep trying. And remember that just because Hive OS can't read your machine. What the hell? Doesn't mean it's not mining. Hive OS is freaking out. All right. In the description below is the answer that you're looking for. That's all this video is supposed to be about. It wasn't supposed to be about the other Hive OS problems that appear to be popping up. Uh... That says, I, oh, look at there. This is one of these. Okay, so this is a Hive OS problem that I will tell you about. All right. Hive OS, when you run dual drives in a machine. So I reboot this computer to mine from a Hive drive. Hive OS does not respect my time zone and resets it in the BIOS of my motherboard. Then I go back to Windows, and it has the wrong time in there. And when you have the wrong time talking from one computer to another, it's flagged as a virus. Okay? So HiveOS created the problem that I'm having with HiveOS. I just brain farted. I was so concentrated on just... 
click, 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 and showing you where to, where to put stuff that I forgot that they create other problems for me that I got to fix every time I reboot this machine. Every time I reboot this machine, they do this. So, uh, last successful sync time, sync now. So we went from 3 p.m. tomorrow to 10.30 today. All right, we're off Russian time now, which is what it sets us to. All right, get out of there. And we're going to refresh the page. So that's why it thinks I asked for a request five hours ago. Security deal. All right, let's 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 prove what I just, the bullshit that just came out of my mouth, right? <laughs> let's prove that bullshit. Okay, so now it's giving me 64s. These are these are all RX 580s, uh, 8 gigabytes. And that's the difference between... Uh, you'll peak out at 50 on a 4 gigabyte, even though you're supposed to be able to... The, a little more RAM does make a little more ergo. Uh, and I have tweaked and tweaked and tweaked on the ergos. Uh, there's lots of Team Red Miner settings. That I use Team Red Miner for all my, my AMD stuff. I always get more out of Team Red Miner than I do out of uh, LOL Miner. Uh, and LOL Miner tends to abuse my cards a little more than Team Red Miner does. Uh, as you can see, I'm running cool. Fans are at 60%. I'm running max here. Uh, my temperatures are all sub-60. Uh, and these are all used cards I bought off of eBay. Right now you can buy an RX 580 off of eBay for like 90 bucks. So, I can't make their network go any faster, that's for damn sure. HiveOS has this, hang, this, this the three dot spinning on a lot of commands. Sometimes you'll upgrade and it'll get a timeout issue and it'll be there for five hours. The same five hour time difference. There, there's something about clocking with HiveOS because they don't respect the motherboard's time settings. And uh, for security purposes, your router and your motherboards should be on the same time. Uh, virus programs. You sh everybody turns off their virus programming when they do Windows mining. You shouldn't be without virus and firewall protections, and you need proper clocks to have that. All right, my my little buddy Leroy here. My uh, golden retriever died a couple weeks ago, and he has been a basket case. So. We all miss my buddy, my buddy Chief. The uh, for those who watch my other channel, yeah, we do them lives. Them dogs come in there every day, at same clock, you know, every day because my dogs need. And I would be doing, a, I'll do like a three or four hour live, and my dogs come in at five o'clock, and we go, we go walk out to check the mailbox, and it's uh, so. Those of you new to the, you know, new to me, new to I, you know, we don't do that anymore because. We're teaching the beagle that he's going to hang out with me instead of being come and get me for a walk. Yeah. And we're just not going to get Hive to respond to us on video today. I'm going to leave this here in case somebody wants to get a hold of the Hive guys and show the live problem at it. I would love them to fix this clock problem. Uh, if I tell you what time zone to set my damn... And you go into Hive OS and you tell them what time zone you want it, you want the thing set to. They just don't respect it. Uh, they, 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 every reboot into the drive goes back to whatever they want it to be, and they set it at the motherboard level. So that when I go back to another hard hard drive, they've changed the they've changed my time zone. 
Uh, it's just problematic. All right. We will do a refresh and see if they, in the background, just did. They did. So that's that's a problem with them. All right. So as you know, paste from browser. Uh, you're going to put that command in right there. And I'm not going to run that because that's going to give you my true IP address and not the bogus one they had on the screen. All right. So I'm not going to run it. But it's just going to report your true IP address. you got to do this from Shell to get this information out of HiveOS. All right. Uh, sorry for all the little bugs in there, but that's that's the, th that's the problems that we deal with, right? You don't see me getting all them bastards, you know. Uh, like I said, the fact that they do what they do do uh, saves me hundreds of man hours a year. Uh, being able to click button configure cards and setups and things like that. I run mostly, uh, I only run one PC board, which is the studio board that I'm running here. Why let it sit idle overnight when I can have it mining? Uh, the, uh, cause I'll, but for all my mining operations, I run S37s. I encourage you to like and subscribe and go watch my S37 setup video it is the best s37 bio setup video out there bar none uh i will show you how to go through the bios and set one of those things up so that they run infinitely reliable uh i have gone two and a half months without a reset on some of these boards uh usually the only time i am farting is when i have to make a flight cheat change or a minor change and hive os has this weird caching system and it's the hive os problem uh, make sure watch dog not turn on yeah I think I do have a GPU problem on that S31 board I saw earlier where it said GPU <coughs> one was reporting dead and I see where the voltage on that is quite low so what we'll do is we will up the voltage on that a little bit, maybe solve that issue. Just so I don't have to come back out here today. All right. Maybe I'll fix my little random reset there. I, I, I had a, a GPU reported dead earlier, and that's usually that's usually you've set your voltages on your memory or your GT, GPU too low. On the RX 580s, they're a little finicky. Uh, you can only subvolt them so much. Uh, and I have people who tell me that the 5700s are not finicky, but that's just not my experience. Uh, they're just finicky in a different way. Uh, <laughs> so take that with a grain of salt on these things uh, but normally with these AMDs once I get them running if I leave them alone they don't fail they don't randomly have this issue that you're seeing here I uh, so if I got to come if I am having reset problems find out which card is giving me a little bit of grief because the the chip breaks down over time and you got to put a little more voltage to it to jump those PNN junctions if you don't know what those are that's the little. That's how uh, P and N junctions is how we communicate inside chips. Uh, they do break down with time. That's why you never wanted to over. Oh, everybody went out there overvolting their their gaming cards forever, just tearing up your gaming card faster. Uh, if you can undervolt something, undervolt it. It makes it last longer. Mine. I, I. You go on eBay, 
and they tell you, like, oh, my card's never been mined with. Well, I don't want that son of a bitch. Uh, I'll take the mining card, you know, that, that's that's run for a year, and the guy just decides he doesn't want to be in it no more. Uh, he more than likely BIOS updated it and undervolted it. That card's in better shape. The uh, As long as he's not a liar about it not working, and anytime I buy one of those things, I test them on the day they come in, and I would say about a third of them I wind up shipping back at their at their expense because I'm I make eBay take the return even if you say no returns accepted you sold me something that works and it doesn't you lied uh, so there's that I appreciate it thank you all.